day. It's Miss Alana working on some math, getting smarter and smarter every day. And I know you are too. We are working on our bus driver math. This is day two, question number two. You ready to begin? Let's read the question. It says number two, if half, that's how we write half. Sometimes it's on top of each other. That's a fraction. If half of the total number of students are boys, how many boys are there on the bus? Okay, remember, we can use our problem-solving mnemonic device cubes, not an actual cube, but those letters stand for steps to help us solve this problem. So let's do the first step, the C step. It says circle the numbers. So the first thing we have to do is circle the numbers in the problem. Can you find me the numbers? Call out the numbers. We have half right there, right there, one half. Oh, that's it. That's the only numbers that we have. So we are done with the C step. Let's look at the next step. The next step is the U step. It says underline the important words. So there are a lot of important words in the sentence. Let's find some key words. Can you call them out? Okay, half is an important word. That's a key word right there. Can you see that? Um, oh, right here. That's an important word. Total number. That's a phrase. Total number of students. We can underline that. Okay, we can underline the boys. How many? That might be important. How many boys? Oh, there's another boy on the bus. Okay, if you want to underline bus, that's fine too. All right, so we are done with the U step. Moving on to the next step in problem solving is Alexa. Alexa Austin to the front for dismissal. Alexa Austin for dismissal. Go for dismissal if that's you. Oh my goodness. All right. B, the next B step is box the question. Box the question. You can circle the question, put a square around the question. I rather highlight the question. You can highlight the question as well. Let's see, where's the question? Okay, there's the question mark. Now I know that's the whole sentence, but let's start right here. How many boys are there on the bus? There's our question. How many boys are there on the bus? I don't know. We're going to figure that out, though. So we are done with the B step. Next is the E step. E, eliminate unnecessary information. Is there anything in the problem that you see that is unnecessary? Nope. We need all that information. So that was an easy step right there and the last step in problem solving is to do what solve and check so to solve the problem first thing we need to do is figure out what operation we need to do so think about it are we adding subtracting multiplying or dividing look at the question it said if half of the total so half for example what is half of 14. Half of 14 is 7. What is half of mm, 50? Half of 50 is mm, 25. What is half of 1,000? Half of 1,000, do you know? It's so easy. 500. Now, I know you can do that mentally. What operation did you use to figure that out? You actually divide it. That's right. You divide it. We need to divide. What are we dividing? Eh, we need the total number. It says right there, we need the total number. Remember, we did that in question number one. So let's go back to look, go back and look at question number one. Bam, right there. What was the total number? We got that answer, 76. Put that in your mind, 76. So we need to do 76. Oh, I just moved it. 76 divided by what? Divided by 2. Right here. Half, we're going to divide that by 2. I'm going to show you two different ways to divide. You could do either way, the long way, the short way, whichever way blows your mind. 2 goes into 7. How many times? Count by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, 8. That's too much. So that was three times. 
three goes up top. Three times two is six. Write the six below and let's subtract. <laughs> subtract. Seven minus six is one. Bring down that six. Now I have 16. 16 divided by two. Let's skip count by two. If you don't know your division facts, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. How many times did I count by two? Eight times. Now, again, if you don't know your facts, make sure you practice, practice every day because one day you will know them all so fast for as long as you practice, practice, practice. Eight times two is 16. Write the 16, subtract that. That is a zero. All right, so we're done. This way, raise your hand if you like this way. Let me show you the other way. 76 divided by... Two. How many times does two go in seven? So we do the same thing. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. That's too much. That's three times. And how many was left over? We counted two, four, six. To get to seven, there was one left. So I'm going to cross out that seven. Put that one. Maybe I'm going to change that color. Put that one with the six right there. So now that's a 16. Do you see that 16? How many times does 2 go in 16? Same thing we did in the first one. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Eight times. Eight times, write the 8 up top. Is there anything left over? Nope. Cross that out. Bam, we are done. We got the same answer, so I know we did that right. So I actually solved it and checked it. Remember, you can use a calculator to check your work, okay? We're forgetting one thing. What are we forgetting? The unit. 38 what? It says right there in the question, how many boys are there on the bus? 38 boys. And here's a trick question. Not a trick, a challenge question. So how many girls are there? Guess what? If it was half, that means half boys, half girls, 38 boys. We know there's 38 girls. You didn't even have to calculate that. You just know they would be equal amounts. So, yes, we're done with question number two. Put a check right there. All right. We are done with number two. Moving on to number three. Check out the next video if you need help. See you then.